Good morning. It is January 30th. Jared is about to walk in with my donuts and kolaches. It is January 30th. We are on our way to a baby appointment. Um, had to get the goods. If you're a Texas person, you know what kolaches are. If you're not, I am so sorry. Come to Texas and get a kolache. You will thank me. Um, but we are headed to our growth scan. If you remember from last vlog, we were told that we need to get a growth scan every two weeks. Well, this is our first one, so maybe if like everything's normal, we won't have to, but this is just a little check-in on baby boy. And it is our first appointment with my new OB in, oops, state, Texas. So that is very exciting. I'm excited to meet her. I will miss my old OB and like everyone in Denver because they're just all so amazing and like they gave me a million pictures. They just are so sweet and I'm just like, ugh, so sad to have left them. But we live in Texas. I'm giving birth in Texas, so. We're gonna have a mass hole and a Texan. We're gonna have a mass hole and a Texan. If you don't know what a mass hole is, London was born in Massachusetts and that's what they call <laughs> kids there. Um, but yeah, my camera is about to die, so that's fun. Thank you, Lennon, for hiding my charger. But we will update you guys afterwards. Um, I'm gonna finish my donuts, and we're gonna go in. Hopefully they let us film, fingers crossed. And if not, it's gonna be sad. I'm almost 31 weeks. No, it's Monday. I'm 30 weeks. I turn every Friday, so. Yeah. I'm no, 30 weeks. It's Tuesday. It's literally Tuesday. Weeks. I'm almost 31 weeks. Okay, whatever. Three days away from being 31 weeks. So, and this is what baby was measuring when I was 27 weeks. So, <laughs> let's see what he's measuring today. All right, we'll catch up with y'all after. Okay, y'all, growth scan, meeting new OB, was great. These pictures are not nearly as good as our Denver ones, but pictures nonetheless, and baby boy's head is still very ahead, but she says that he, she's very encouraged that he's just on his own little growth path, and that's what we love. So I get another growth scan because his head was still measuring four weeks, this time it was four weeks ahead. I'm 30 weeks and he was measuring 34 weeks. Everything else was measuring like relatively like within two weeks. So like I was still good on that. Like his stomach and his legs were like measuring like 32, I believe it was like 30 weeks and like, or sorry, 31 weeks and like six days or whatever, just like 32 something. So that all stuff was like still growing at a good pace. The head is just still big old head. Um, but I loved meeting her. I really liked her. So I'm very encouraged by that. I feel a lot more settled. I was very stressed in the beginning. Yeah, very stressed, but now we're good. Um, so growth scan in about a month and then I see her again in two weeks for like a regular prenatal visit. Um, those are just boring. So probably just check in with y'all on the next growth scan. So that's really it. Was there anything else? Oh, the hospital is like right next to the practice, which is so nice. And they've got a full women. Nice. Full women's delivery label. We're going to go tour one of the suites, so. It's like a full women's hospital. Yeah. And just. I really like that. So I feel very encouraged and happy. And although Bubba's still measuring very big, we love that for him. Let's My just, guy's just a stud. No big no. He's on his own little growth path. I like the way she put it. <laughs> so. Next check-in will be 34 weeks. See y'all then.
What's up y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. This vlog is going to be all about baby boy because we just had our appointment. Now I have my maternity pics and then we're going on our baby moon next week. So I'm going to do a little packing with y'all kind of like just what I'm wearing and well I'm not going to tell you where we're going yet because you will find out. But I'm getting ready for my maternity pics. I'm doing like a very like chill maternity pics this time because last time I had my glam one I had my glam maternity pics now we're doing more homey filmy vibes and it's actually a very gloomy day I feel like every time I vlog it's gloomy but the light is like bright enough to where it's going to be pretty so we're working with it but I just did my hair or my makeup still have to do my hair but um I obviously have London at home so like I gotta go make her lunch and stuff like that's multitasking at its finest but um i have a friend um who's shooting them and her name's brie um her instagram's amazing i will tag her she actually shot kylie's wedding and then her bachelorette so like she's just local to texas so i was like this is easy i know she's good at what she does come on over um so yeah so i had the whole house pretty clean for this um but it's gonna be very like filmy vibes home shoot Lots of just like comfortable, I'm gonna wear jeans, like I wanna be like, I want this to be like way different than my glam ones. Um, Cause I already have those, you know what I mean? Like this is more just like fun. And then if Lennon cooperates, we'll get some family pictures. I hope she does, but mainly like, I'm just worried about me and Jared, you know, just cause us getting pics because that's what we did last time, you know? But I would love some with Lennon if she wants to. We'll see, I'm not gonna force her, but. Makeup's all done. We're doing it during nap, and then when she wakes up, we're going to finish. Um, but, yeah. And then next week, we're going to Baby Moon, which I'm so excited. Um, and you guys will find out where soon. Don't worry. But it's tropical. I'll say that. And if you know me, you probably already know where we're going. <laughs> but I'm so excited because last time, I didn't get to do, like, a fun Baby Moon. Like, we just went to California, and that's where I actually did my maternity pics. This time we get to do a fun one because I don't have as many like things going on, so it's fun. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, we're doing that, and we're also having um, a few friends come with us because I'm like, we've already been on a baby moon. Like, I kind of want to do like a fun trip, you know what I mean? And me and Jarrett will still get a lot of time together with also our our best friends going. So very excited for that. Um, but I'm about to go make Lennon lunch, finish getting ready, and then we'll take y'all through maternity pics. So excited, got a spray tan. Feeling, feeling alive whenever I got a spray tan. I was like, wow, it makes you feel so much better. So love that for me. Um, but yeah, so I will take you guys through our outfits and everything um, for that. And then we'll pack for baby moon in a little bit after maternity picks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you like mama's meme? Mama's Do you like it? Mama's Did you play with Play-Doh? Did you play with Dodo with Play-Doh? Yeah. <gasps> Say, Auntie Dodo's here. Woo Hi. Mommy, hi, you. You want me to hold you? Hi, you. Can I just look at you? Because you look so cute right Mommy, now. Mommy, hug you. Okay. We'll hold you. Come here. Yeah. Oh, also, my nails, Help. I'm obsessed Help. with. Oh, Mommy, hug you. So pretty. It's French tip Mommy, with chrome. I will, Lennon. Mommy. 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 I'm showing everyone my nails. Mommy. Oh, you're trying to kiss Bubba. Do you want to take pictures today? Pick it. I did it. What? <laughs> mm. Mama, Mommy. Do you like? Uh, mommy. Um. Yep, my clip. Yeah. Hey, Papa. do you want to take pictures? Pictures. You want to take pictures today? Pictures. You want to take Pitches. pictures? Vivi. You want to take pictures? Smile. Pretend like you're cheesing. Vivi, Vivi was. All right. The finished look. Curled my hair a little bit. And I'm wearing an all jean outfit first. I'll show you guys in the mirror. But now I'm like super sad because it was so like gloomy but like bright like a bright gloomy earlier and now it's just so dark like it's really sad so hopefully this picture turn out well if they don't oh well but i'm just gonna have a positive mindset about it 
because I'm happy. We're just getting these done and I'm so exhausted already. So I'm like, let's just shoot what we can and we'll go from there. This is my jean outfit look. I'm gonna do jean and then I'm gonna do just jeans on and like covering my top. And then I'll do a white shirt with linen and jerry and then I have a white dress that I'm hoping to shoot. So first outfit, baggy and comfy and cute. Maternity pics and y'all let's just say it ended with some rain we wanted to go like frolic in the trees and then all of a sudden started torrential downpouring in this beautiful white dress that I had and I was like oh it's so pretty hopefully the pictures turn out we got like literally like maybe five pictures in it but it, it's hopefully fun but that was so fun I love Brie for driving all the way over here so shout out to Brie um, studio B photography I'll put that below um, but I'm gonna change out of this, put my hair up, and relax for a little bit because, wow, that took it out of me. Oh my gosh. But I hope the pictures turn out great. I'm so excited. What's up, y'all? It has been a busy, busy few days um, with the baby appointment and maternity pics, and so now I'm just getting around to packing for our baby moon. I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I'm bringing with. I'm not gonna tell you where we're going yet because You'll find out soon, but um, my clothes will give it away. It's 85 and sunny and tropical. We love that. Um, but I'm just getting around to packing because it has been, like I said, busy few days. And I just got back from a baby shower, hence my colorful outfit. It was Valentine's Day theme. So, um, but I need to get packing because tomorrow we have a busy day too. And I'm like, okay, well, I need to like plan my outfits. And also, it is hard dressing the bump whenever you're 30. I guess I'm almost 32 weeks pregnant. It's hard dressing the bump. And I'm excited to like kind of take you guys through that. And especially because it's a lot of it like is summer stuff. So I have a lot of winter stuff because with London I was due in April, this baby I'm due in April. So I have like all the winter stuff for the bump, but not really summer. So I was like, okay, I need to like invest in stuff in summer bump wear because I plan to be pregnant in the summer, hopefully one year. I'm like, this will all just be saved for it. So. I'm gonna take you guys through a little couple um, bump outfits that I'm packing and just like honestly trying on to make sure they fit and then go from there. And then um, I will link everything below for you guys because I know that's like a really highly requested topic is like, how do you dress the bump? I'm gonna try to help y'all. So let's get to packing. Gotta plan my outfits and all of that. So I'll show you guys a few things that I'm thinking. Okay, immediately off the bat, if you can't already tell, lots of crochet. Lots of it. We love that. Lots of sets and lots of belly out because that's just me. I want my belly out because I just love my little pregnant belly. And well, it's not little, it's big, but I just like being comfortable and that's not wearing anything on my belly. So I'm going to try on all this. And then I have this green set, again, pants, green set, love that. And then I have this little dress that I love. So try this on okay I am obsessed with this set all this stuff is basically from Amazon y'all so let me tell you you can wear it off the shoulder you can wear it up the only thing is the boobs are questionable so I can't really move that much but I love this it is so comfortable hugs my bump perfectly we love it I actually love this it's so cute and I love a belly out again so if that's not for you this isn't for you, but I can also wear this whenever I'm not pregnant because it just fits perfectly. All right, I love this. This is a bathing suit cover-up that can also be worn to like a beachy lunch or whatever. So I'm showing you with a bathing suit, obviously. This is one of my new bathing suits. I will go through my bathing suits as well. Um, this is also from Amazon. So I'm definitely gonna bring this. I also have a blue one in this exact same color, but I think since like my other outfits are very like like very colorful. I'm gonna go chill with this. So, and I love how like big it is. Like it's so cozy. You can also wear it over the bump. If you are that kind of person and you wanna do that, there you go. 
I always feel like this makes me look like Vector from, makes me look like Vector from Despicable Me, so I just wear it open like that. I love this, and this is like a beigey cream color. Very chill, love that. Okay, whenever I'm dressing the bump, I always order up like in my normal size so that you know, like my pants fit and the shirts fit, but sometimes it just comes way too big. So like this is a large, again, another set from Amazon, and it would be like really chic for like some heels and everything, but I just feel like it is just a little too big. So I, and this is like a maybe, but it's so comfortable. Like I literally feel like I'm just wearing sweatpants and I can just wear like heels, like, and then just wear my belly out. But like, when I go sideways, it looks huge. Like it's giving pajama pant vibes and not a cute vibe. But if I'm wearing like strappy heels, I might be able to pull it off and like my hair slicked back maybe. But this is a maybe, a maybe. Again, it's hard to dress the bump. You gotta find the good things that like flow with your body well, you know? So, hardcore maybe. Okay, now this is a prime example of something that I wore pre-pregnancy and during pregnancy. This is literally like a size two and it still fits because of the fit. That's the trick. For dressing the bump, the fit is what matters. Like you can still order your same size as long as you've got some stretch and some flow. You know what I mean? Like this is a flowy dress, very comfy cozy. I love this, it is so comfortable, and it's not even like literally tight around here, and this is from Love Shack Fancy. I bought it for the summer, I wore it in Nantucket if you remember from that vlog, but it's a prime example of how you can still wear normal clothes while you're pregnant, because like if you just have the right fit, then it doesn't matter, but I love this. This is so cozy and comfy and perfect. Okay, another crochet cover up, but I am obsessed with this. It's from Revolve, so we love that. I'm wearing a bathing suit again, but I love the length on the top because I could literally just wear it as a cover-up like that and not wear the pants. But the pants are so cozy and comfy that I'm gonna wear them. And again, it could be a beach outfit, all the things. It is so cute. This is an immediate yes. Okay, I'm gonna go over my swimsuits real quick because I have a trick with this, especially with pregnancy, to like not order too much off your size because nobody wants to order like an extra large like swimsuit whenever you're only pregnant for like whatever. And like I like to invest in my swimsuits because I hate poor quality swimsuits. So this is my trick, always order string. You have to, string helps with everything. So I only order a medium in this, like I'm pretty sure it's medium. Let me see. So out of breath, medium, yeah. So I order a medium this because of this and it's mostly because I just want more fuller coverage on the front part, obviously. And then my tops are usually medium or large, but I've done medium and medium's fine for me right now because I, last pregnancy, I ordered large tops and I have not worn them since. Like, not at all, not even now. Like, I don't love them. So medium tops, medium bottoms, and usually I'm a small to extra small, um, but with pregnancy, you want more coverage. You know, you want the front to be covered, you want the back to be covered. It, there's a lot to stretch over a little bit of area, so. And tie bathing suits help do that because you don't have to order too much off of your normal size and you can still wear it after pregnancy because it's, again, you can tighten it around the tie, easy. This is the only bathing suit that's not a tie, but it actually fits so well to where it will be like high cut and high cut stuff is also good because whenever you're not pregnant, it fits normal. So that's my trick with all of this. The tops are kind of different. Some tops fit so different. I usually love a bandeau top like this. So this is from um, Triangle, Triangle, Triangle. And then this is, oh, I don't know where this is from. Let's see, Elysian Swim. Saw it on an Instagram ad, cute. This is from Heavy Manners, and then this is Revolve. We love. I love this. It is so cute. It's from Bump Suit, so it just came back in stock and I had to order it. But I can't tell if I want to save this for a baby shower because our baby shower is going to be in March. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Hold on. I have some... <sighs> Gotta breathe. Okay, our baby shower is in March, and I can't tell if I want to save this for that or not because it's stretchy. I know it'll fit. But this is so pretty. Like, can you tell? If it's like see-through on the arms, so cozy around the bump, long. We love this. Oh, decisions. But at least I have this as an option. Okay, love this. So cute. Love the color. Love the shape. It's like fun 
cut out so cozy like look how much room I have um I had to order like super up in this because I wanted it to make sure it fit and was comfortable I don't know if I love it though like I like the blue dress more than this but I also love this as an option because even if I like even if I wear my hair like up it'd be really pretty so and I don't have this color like packed I kind of love it I don't know what do y'all think it's really cute though I think this is a strong maybe as well because it's just so comfy like I can just wear this at the house belly out cozy and the back is like so cute and again bam pregnant but so comfy all right I love this as like boat day option um comfy cozy because it's like a sweater feel it's from pepper mayo I love this it's just gonna be a little questionable around the boobs so hopefully it lasts but I just love this I'd wear it with my black like little sandals that I have like maybe my black Prada bucket hat but it fits so well and then the back is gorgeous all right there's the back love how low it is boom pregnant yeah the only thing would be keeping this low because it's not very full coverage but it's also just like it's around friends and Jarrett so like who cares so I do love this and I love like a neutral option and again like bathing suit cover-up vibe slicked back bun or pony boat day all right so i'm looking back at my checklist and this is basically everything i'm packing so i've got my cover-ups here i've got one option for like a brunch slash you know whatever outfit got another cover-up again crochet a lot got my one dinner outfit because we're going out to dinner one night and then we have two at-home dinners so these two these three options at least I have to choose out of the two nights and then I have all my swimsuits so I usually do two swimsuits per day just to make sure that I have enough and this is more than enough so doing pretty good the only thing that I have to do is pack my travel outfits and that's really really it I'm very proud of myself well y'all that is it for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed this little baby vlog update slash maternity pics slash how I dress my 32 week bump slash baby moon packing for baby moon all I have to do is literally shove everything in my bag and we're good to go but hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um next time we see you will be the baby moon vlog which is gonna be so fun I'm gonna be so excited to spend time with my baby daddy so that will be fun um so yeah see you guys wherever we're going next vlog.